So it's Monday. What do you want to do? Let's go to Trader Joe's. We need to go there. We haven't been there in a while. It's like a 25 minute drive and we're out of some stuff. We're out of cream cheese. So it's time to go. Yeah, we definitely, they have the best cream cheese. And it's cheap. Yeah. And I was thinking it's like one o'clock. I have not eaten. Have you eaten today? I have not eaten. We had a very like filling dessert last night and I'm not hungry, so I'm not eating. Yeah, we went to like a connect group where they were eating keto desserts and talking keto. It was so good. So let's do this. Um, I had a couple of seltzer waters today. I've had um, a black coffee and I've had a, a couple of waters and a little bit of salt because I'm trying to bump up my electrolytes. So let's go to Trader Joe's and we will do a full day of eating since people are always asking like what we eat. Okay, yay! So we're on the bumpy turnpike. Yeah, this road is super bumpy. We're going to Trader Joe's though. It's like a 20 or 25 minute drive to get down there. It's worth the investment though. We like stock up on things like cream cheese. It's only like a buck 50 for cream cheese yeah, there. Stuff that we can't get like near our house at Costco and stuff. So we only go like once every couple months when we run out of stuff. You get the looks from people when you buy 12 boxes of cream cheese at a time though. I like their frozen spinach. You know, they, they have that frozen organic spinach. It's like a dollar a bag. And their cauliflower rice is cheap too. Yeah. And then we also get, I usually load up on my Chomps beef sticks. There's not a tremendous amount of keto friendly snacks there necessarily. Like you can go to Costco and get, you know, bagged different variety of new stuff. But there, there's a lot of like vegetable driven bagged snacks yeah so you don't they're they've got a lot of carbs in them so um they don't even sell pork rinds for instance at trader joe's <laughs> get on board trader joe's i know right the one thing that they have that i like to get just to keep in the pantry is they have the individual packets of coconut oil those are super convenient when you're on the road or you got games or something yeah we don't so we don't use those like in the house yeah. But what I'll do is I'll keep one in the car, just one packet. You'll carry a packet in your purse. And so if you go out to eat and it's a, like a higher protein thing and you want to add some fat instead of eating the margarine or whatever the restaurant's serving, is you just use that packet of coconut oil. It's, it's always nice to explain that, though, when you're like trying to take it out of your purse at like a cash register and someone's like, are you just gonna do like a VO5 hot oil treatment like in your hair right now? Why are you carrying this around? Yeah, so we're gonna do Trader Joe's, then we'll go home and we're gonna eat. That sounds like we'll a good our plan. first meal. What are we gonna eat? I'm not quite sure yet. I'm thinking about some like eggs. I have a bunch of ground beef defrosted. That sounds good. I can always eat eggs. I love eggs. <laughs> we need eggs. How many eggs do we have at home? How many dozen eggs do we currently have? I am sad to report that we only have about six eggs and we usually total? have- Total? Total. Like all eggs? And we usually have like six dozen eggs in the house, but we haven't seen any free range eggs on sale in the last week or so, so I'm not stockpiled. So I'm kind of hoping that Trader Joe's has some free range eggs on sale. Help us out, Trader Joe's. Because it's really weird to not have five or six dozen eggs in the refrigerator. It's like your security blanket is gone. Yeah. Well, this is a scary hallway. It's like so long. This stuff is incredible. I love this stuff. I use it instead of cabbage. Take a look at this. They've got spiralized zucchini. It's already pre-spiralized. It's $2 for the bag. So if you are a mouse like us, you definitely want to come and check out the cheese selection at Trader Joe's. It is pretty amazing. Like this is extensive. We are looking for halloumi, but it looks like- They have a raw milk cheddar. Oh my gosh. It's $5.99. I wanna try, try it. This. Yeah, let's try it. We were looking for halloumi cheese, but they don't seem to have it. When they do have it, it's the cheapest price around. 
So this is what we were talking about. This is the individually packed coconut oil. It's super convenient on the go, and it's really not that bad of a price at $3.99. So when people come to Crater Joe's, this is how they buy cream cheese? This is how we're gonna buy it. The whole package. All of it. So there's 12 of them. Actually, I'm gonna get two more. So then she doesn't have to open it. So people are always looking for keto-friendly snacks, and here's one at Trader Joe's. It is the wasabi roasted seaweed snacks. I highly recommend this. Even if you're afraid of seaweed, try it. You're gonna love it. It has a great flavor, and it's 99 cents a package. So here is a snack that we really like, these broccoli florets. This whole bag is a serving, and it's $2.99, which isn't unreasonable. It's got 12 carbohydrates, but seven fibers. So it would be five carbs for this bag, and they're really delicious. So here's what not to eat. Here is, it sounds delicious, cornbread crisps, and it's only $2.50 a bag. But there's actually 150 carbs in this bag. And six servings. Chomps. I love them. This is your it's favorite. cheaper than buying it online. So I usually just buy like five or six. So here is a nice alternative to peanut butter is the sunflower seed spread. It's only um, two carbs and there's 16 grams of fat. They have such an amazing spice collection here and it's so reasonable. Most of their seasonings is only um, $1.99 a piece. This everything but the bagel stuff is legit awesome. And also this chili lime one. So we tried to do some filming inside of Trader Joe's, but they were It was crazy busy. busy. Everybody must have been out of cream cheese. Yeah, so we got a little bit of clips. I don't know if they're gonna come through. If they do, we'll put them in the video. But we ended up getting our cream cheese. What else did we get? We bought some spinach. We bought the um, cheese. They had a raw milk cheese. I want to try some raw milk cheese. They have a gigantic cheese selection. Yeah, we completely cleaned out all of the cream cheese. They had like 12 bars left, 12 bricks left, and we bought them all. We don't come here that often. No. We bought some Chomps beef sticks. What else did we buy? Those are good on the go. Did you? Did we get any eggs? I bought two dozen eggs. They don't have any free range eggs. So we just bought some organic eggs to at least get us by until I can get some free range eggs. We're still limping along in the egg department. Yeah, we definitely are gonna have to find some eggs. We've put all our eggs in the wrong basket, clearly. <sighs> so let's go home and eat. I'm Yay! Hungry. So we went to Trader Joe's. We did. We got a bunch of stuff. We're gonna eat our first meal of the day. Yay! Why don't you show what you're eating? So I have uh, one Italian sausage. I have two eggs cooked the way I like them. Over well. Yeah. I have uh, broccoli. Is it like a cup? It's about a cup. Yeah. A little more. I've got butter, some Kerrygold on it. And then we got this new raw cheese from Trader Joe's. And so we're going to give it a shot today. I am eating uh, one and a half Italian sausage links. I'm eating three and a half eggs. So it's three eggs plus another egg yolk. I've got about a cup of broccoli, a tablespoon of Kerrygold butter, and I have an ounce and a half of I'm excited about this. Cheese. Can so, we try it? And then I'm drinking a coconut sparkling water from Winn-Dixie, it's SE Grocers, but they're really good and they're cheap. And I got water and I'm finishing up my coffee. Oh, and I'm going to add this Green Dragon hot sauce on my eggs. It comes from Trader Joe's. The macros on this are zero calories, less than one gram of carb per serving, which is a teaspoon. It's got really good uh, nutrition. It's just like water, some, does have cane sugar, but it's less than one gram per serving. So I just will use a teaspoon. I usually only use a few drops and I figure I'm eating a carb. Yep. So let's try this. All right, this is raw. That is really good, and I know the biggest thing with it is it's not pasteurized, so it's you're really not good. killing off all of those really great nutrients. What kind of cheese would you describe it as closest to? It's a cheddar cheese, but it it's tastes not, like a little mozzarella. -y. It's not super sharp. No, it's, it's not. really good. But we're gonna eat, and then when we get ready for dinner, we'll show what we're eating for dinner. See you then. 
So it's dinner time. It's dinner time. Yeah, we had a productive day. A full day. Yeah, we worked on videos. We worked on some kids ministry. We got to spend some time together, which is I the whole point that. of our Mondays. Mondays is kind of like our date day. Yeah. We try to anyway. A lot of times it doesn't happen, but we try to make it our date day. I took Anthony to his connect group, his uh, ultimate Frisbee connect group tonight. Right. Can I tell you I'm so bad with directions? I actually drop him off and then he has to text me his location in maps so that I can find him again. You know how many times you've been to that place? Doesn't matter. Every time is like the first time. <laughs> so we went to Lucky's today. So we're going to eat some we did food not go that to we Lucky's. got from Lucky. Um, so we went to Trader Joe's today. We did. So I used some of the Trader Joe's stuff for dinner. Yeah. So we showed our lunch. So here's what we're having for dinner. I'm having, it's like three cups of a 50-50 greens mix with two tablespoons of the Primal Kitchen Dreamy Italian. That's my favorite Primal Kitchen one. It's good. Then I bought, we bought those spiralized zucchini. I'm excited. Just because I don't feel like spiralizing a zucchini. Yeah, and it was yeah. actually cheaper to buy that than it was to go buy zucchini right now. So. Wow, that's crazy. We have, I have a third of the package. You have a third of the package. Caleb ate a third of the package. Dinner doesn't look super appetizing possibly to some people. It's like but athlete, it's really you know. good keto macros. So... I put on here, I have um, almost two thirds of a pound of 80-20 ground beef, mm -hmm. which has been mixed with uh, cream cheese from Trader Joe's and the basil pesto that you get the at Costco. Yes. I love that stuff. And then on top of it, I have about an ounce and a half of shredded Parmesan cheese. Yeah. And then in addition to that, I have one of my cookie dough bites and I have a half a serving of the cinnamon muffin. I love those. So, so I have a third. Of, you have a third of a pound of the ground beef. I have a third of a pound of the ground beef. I do have three cups of the greens and I have a tablespoon of the dreamy Italian. Yeah. Which is really good. And then I have one of the cookie dough fat bombs and it legitimately tastes like cookie dough. Yeah, and then I'm also drinking a Water with two scoops of grape Ultima in it. So I feel like I'm a little dehydrated from working over the weekend. So I'm just trying to replace some extra electrolytes. And I'm drinking water, if you can believe it. <laughs> so that is our food. And this is kind of like our normal day of eating. You know, we usually, some somewhere along the day, we usually have some eggs. Mm -hmm. And then, or some kind of leftovers. And then some kind of ground beef. So not a lot of stuff. Sometimes it's a meal prep. Sometimes it's not. This I threw together in like five minutes. I love it. So let's dig in. So that's our video for today, guys. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully uh, we were able to help you out a little bit. Uh, please do us a favor, hit the like button on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And until next time. Bye. Bye.